So, what is going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team SamRx1 here, and today I'm coming at you guys with the most requested deck profile for the post Shiny Victories format. And here it is, my pure Dynamis deck profile. I'm telling you guys right now, I've been playtesting this deck, uh, you know, on the down low, uh, especially with uh, Dynamis Spinos that has just been released in Shiny Victories. I'm telling you right now, Dynamis Spinos makes the deck go from 0 to 100. It is absolutely insane. This card is so good. Um, to be honest, guys, I, this card is better than Rex, in my personal opinion. I feel like Spinos is better than Rex at some cases, but you know what? I'll explain to you guys all the card choices as I progress to the deck profile. And for those of you who are actually interested in seeing a Dragon Slayer Dynamis deck profile, the deck profile is on my channel, so make sure you guys check it out. And for those of you who actually want to see Lunar Lights as well, the Lunar Light deck profile is on my channel as well. And guys, and a lot of people have been asking me for my contest. Sam, when is your contest going to end? It's been a month, and uh, I'm sorry guys for uh, taking so long for the contest. I've been getting, you know, shipping ready and everything. Uh, I was getting all the shipping sorted out and things like that. So guys, I'm going to be announcing the winners this uh, this week. I, I believe it's either, it's either Friday or Saturday, but make sure you guys stay tuned. The contest is going to end this week, and I'll announce uh, the winners this week. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So without further ado, guys, I'll explain to you guys all my card choices as I progress to the deck profile. And here it is, my pure Dynamis deck profile, featuring Dynamis Spinos for the post, um, what is it called, Shining Victories format. So without further ado, let's get started with the monsters. Start with the monsters, we're going to play Triple Dynamis Spinos. This card is absolutely phenomenal. It's absolutely amazing. This card is the nut. It's broken. Uh, it's, it's, it's a level 5, so you can help you go into Cyber Dragon Infinity, which is very, very nice. And the problem that Pierre that Dynamo has had, in my personal opinion, was having low scales. Uh, you know what? Uh, you lack on low scales. So, you know what? Having an additional... Three more three skills in the deck is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, be before, guys, to be honest, I did play the Stegosaur. I just decided to cut out Stegosaur completely to just run triple D Dynamis Spinos. This card is absolutely amazing. It's way better than, uh, than Stegosaur. Stegosaur was only used for in this deck for the sole purpose that it's a three scale. That's it. There's no other reason why I decided to play Stegosaur. But other than that, I, I replaced the Stegosaur completely for Dynamis Spinos. And let me, you guys, uh, uh, let me read you guys Dynamis Spinos effect. And for those of you guys, let me just say this uh, all at once. Basically, the three scale in the deck prevents uh, Udonymous cards from being destroyed by card effects or things like that, and you can destroy the scale instead. And a six scales in the deck basically uh, prevents Udonymous cards from being targeted by card effects, which is very, very nice. So you know what? So it's really, really good that Udonymous Spinos is a three scale. And let me read you guys the effect. This is where the nut happens, okay? So Machine Pendulum Effect, you can go into, uh, what's it called? Cyber Dragon Infinity with this card because it is level five. And you can tribute one other Udonymous monster then activate one of this and uh, then activate one of these effects so you can tribute one other dynamis monster then activate one of these effects this card can attack the, your opponent directly this turn so this turn if you tribute one monster you can either choose to attack your opponent's monster or you can choose to attack directly this turn which is absolutely phenomenal secondary effect this card can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn okay so i thought so i thought to myself how how is this card broken okay how is dynamis spindle so broken if you have two Dynamis monsters on the field and you tribute all those two Dynamis, uh, so, so let's say you, you activate scale, activate scale, pendulum, uh, pendulum three, uh, three, 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 three Dynamis monsters, and uh, one of them is Spinos. You can tribute one Dynamis monster, uh, this turn, this card can attack your opponents directly. And then you tribute another one, another Dynamis monster, this card can make a second attack uh, in a row. So uh, it, it, it can make a second attack. So basically, if you tribute two monsters on the field, this card can attack a 5,000 directly to your opponent. And you don't even have to worry it because that attack will definitely go through because you have cards, uh, because uh, you're going to have a three scale and a six scale. So anything that targets, you basically just destroy your scale. Anything that destroy it, you basically destroy your scale. So basically that 5,000 damage, if you push by tributing out two other dynamis monster, you basically have game. This card is a walking Utopia Lightning on board. This card is amazing. This card is so, so good. Let me show you guys right now. Card is busted. I kind of wish that this card came in like an ultra rare or something. Card is really, really amazing for that purpose, guys. And uh, trust me, you can do that. And, and I was reading like, you know, rulings on this card. You, you can definitely do that. So if you tribute two, uh, two, two Dynamis monsters on the board, you basically get both of his effects, which is absolutely phenomenal. So you're going to play triple Dynamis Spinos. This card is very, very uh, amazing in the deck. Uh, I love this card. And especially if you have a charge on the board, can you imagine if you have charge on the board and you just tribute off your monsters uh, to basically uh, activate Spinos effect, you basically get to add those monsters back to your hand if you... Uh, have a charge uh, on the field, which is very, very nice. So you're going to play Dynamo Spinos. Uh, I kind of wish this card came in uh, Ultra Rare or Super Rare. The card is very, very good. And in my, in, my, in my personal opinion, it can be better than Dynamis Rex in some cases because it can potentially help you OTK your opponent very, very fast. So I love playing Triple Dynamo Spinos. This card is a must-off. 
Card is very, very good. Let's go up to our standard. You want to play Triple Rex. You guys don't know what Rex does. He's, uh, you're basically your English star of the deck. Very, very good. Uh, so you want to play Triple Rex. So absolutely amazing. This card is really, really good at three. It's uh, a standard. So you know what? These cards are very solid explanatory. Uh, triple Dynamis, uh, Dynamis Rex. I love playing Triple Dynamis Brachion. Uh, a lot of people may disagree on this because, you know, a lot of people like to play two or play one. But I love the fact that uh, if you open up this card first turn, you basically get a free special summon on the board, which is very, very amazing. Uh, and yeah, so it's basically like a free Cyber Dragon on the board. And it's a six scale of the deck, which is very, very good. And you know what? You, you want to balance your scale as much as possible. So I, I think I play nine, six scales and eight level uh, and eight three scales uh so you know what bracket is very very good and, and it's a level five this deck tends to span rank five uh xyz's often uh but you know what as i said before with dynamis you have to be really resourceful when going to xyz's because you know what uh that first turn infinity can easily be beaten nowadays you know what you have so many cards to beat out the infinity uh infinity isn't really that great if you go first turn infinity as it used to be back in the day um so you have to be really smart when you go into XYZs because if you go in, if you have two scales and you pendulum two two level fives and you overlay those two, those two uh pendulum monsters are gone. Like they're gone. They're completely useless now. They're gonna go to the grave. And if your opponent get, gets rid of your Shadow Dragon Infinity, that you know, like you basically have nothing in your extra deck. And, and and for that point, you're just top decking for that point. So you have to be really resourceful when you're uh, going to XYZs. Uh, so yeah, this is an another side note that you guys need to know when playing Dynamis. You have to be really, really resourceful and be really, really smart when it's uh, going to XYZs, or, uh, going to XYZs or things like that. So uh, Triple Di Dynamis uh, Brachion, in my personal opinion, is very, very good in this deck. You guys can play two copies instead and play another card i'll tell you guys what card you can cut up but you know what playing this card at three i, I didn't find any problems at all and it's a really really good uh what is it called bombas major as well so you can special this card uh if you control no monsters so if you it is his effect states if you could if you if you do not control a uh, dynamis brachion in your monster zone and your opponent controls a monster that has the highest attack on the field even if it's tied you can special, you can special this card from your hand so it's basically like a free cyber dragon of the deck which is very very good so triple uh, dynamis brachion. These cards are really self-explanatory. Uh, double ceratops, your three skill of the deck. This card is really good as well. If all your if all your monsters uh, you control are dynamis monsters, minimum one and and none are dynamis ceratops. You can special this card from your hand. Has uh, basically a, a similar effect to brachion. Uh, so the double ceratops is definitely good enough. I did play. Uh, Three Ceratops and two Brachion is because, as I said before, you lacked on three scale. But you know what? Since you got Spinels now, it's the additional three scale in the deck, which is absolutely amazing. So you're going to play Triple Spinels, and these are basically your, your level fives of the deck. Let's go up to level fours. You're going to play uh, Triple Dynamis uh, Taran. Card is amazing. This card is your reinforce, uh, reinforce of the army of the deck. This card is really, really good. Uh, he's a roar of the deck. Uh, I love Taran. And basically, Taran with... Uh, Plus heals on board is just absolutely phenomenal. So the card basically helps you search out your spinels, helps you search up your dynamis charge, and things like that. So uh, Tran is really, really amazing. And last but not least, you want to play Triple Dynamis Plus Heals. This card is my favorite uh, level four, uh, level four monster of the deck because the card's really good. It helps you basically get get rid of any problematic monsters because this card basically nukes uh, your opponent's uh, monsters uh, attack and defense by 100 for each Dynamis cards you control. So more than likely, you're at least going to control four uh, Dynamis cards, one charge, two scale, and a Plus Heals. Um, and you know what? If you Top deck another Plessios, basically all your opponent monsters lose 800 attack and defense, which is absolutely phenomenal. So Plessios basically helps you get rid of uh, uh, big monsters and also makes your uh, Taran live by just running over uh, the problematic monsters to get off your searches. Uh, so that's pretty much it for Dynamis Engine. You do, uh, yeah, so you do play, I think you play uh, 9, 6 scales and you play 8, um, eight three scales uh, in the deck and you know what this ratio in my personal opinion is very very good so that's pretty much it for our dynamis engine uh, i'm sorry guys i i actually kind of took uh, like you know like eight minutes of your time explaining, explaining the dynamis engine and trust me guys you guys will be surprised not a lot of people know how to play this deck and a lot of people that message me on facebook do not know how to play dynamis so i try to explain to you guys all my card choices as possible so uh i can minimize on the questions that you guys ask in the comment section below so you know what i really uh care about you guys and i really I am concerned about some people playing the deck because some, some of you guys do not know the effects and some of them don't know how to play the deck at all. So you know what, that's why I take my time to explain to you guys all my card choices and things like that. And I'm glad for those of you who actually appreciate it, thank you so much, man. It really means a lot to me because I actually uh, want to put out great content for you guys, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, so this has been my for Dynamis Engine. And last but not least, you want to play Double Maxi. 
Max C is always a great meta call uh, in this format, especially when PK Fire is running around and Cosmo is running around. Uh, so Max C is really, really good. And XYZ Monarchs is a, one of the most popular decks right now. So uh, Max C is just very, very good in, in those matchups. Uh, so that's pretty much, uh, pretty much it for our, um, what is it called, monsters. And I want to play as competitively, uh, competitively as possible, so that's why I decided to bring the Max C uh, in, in this current format. And as I said before, there is no Stegosaur in this lineup, so no Stegosaur because uh, you don't need it. Basically, Spinos basically replace uh, your your uh, your bad stack of story in the deck. Uh, through our spells, triple charge, triple tanky of the deck. This card is better than tanky. Really, really good. Basically, if your dynamis monster uh, dies, you basically get to uh, add it from your extra deck uh, directly to your hand, which is very, very good. This card in itself is a searcher and a toolbox uh, in itself, which is absolutely amazing. And uh, Taran can also search on this card to make uh, plus seals uh, gain an extra. Uh, what is it called? An extra. Attack reduce on your opponent's monster because Dynamis Charge uh, counts as a as a Dynamis card. So uh, if you control a Plesios and Dynamis Charge, basically your opponent monster will lose 200 attack and 200 defense, which is very very nice. So uh, triple charge, uh, double instant fusion. This card is really good. You do play Norden and uh, the Panzer Dragon, which is very very nice. And this card is, you know, wins games. This card is really good. Uh, double Twin Twister to clear back row. Card is very great. Uh, Twin Twister is really, really good to clear problematic back rows and things like that. So, uh, Double Twin Twister. Uh, one Red Yaki. And last but not least, guys, I do play the Limited Removal. Last deck profile on Dynamis, I did pro proxy the Limited Removal as well. I could not find another copy. I am so sorry, guys. I feel so bad for proxying. But anyways, uh, like, to be honest, guys, I did this on Death Row. And it was one of the funnest things in the world. So, I had a Spindles and uh, Limited Removal. You guys can already see... Uh, like, you know, like what happened at this point. So I basically uh, have two scales. I top like a, a limited removal. I have two scales. And I pendulum out uh, three cards. I forgot. Like, it just doesn't really matter where, like what I pendulum on. So I pendulum out three cards. And, um, oh no, Stegosaur is not in the deck. Sorry, guys. I pendulum out three monsters. And what I did was that I um, act uh, activated Spindle's Effect. Uh, tribute Turan. Activate Spindle's Effect. Tribute Brachion. Activate limited removal, you know what I mean? Activate limited removal, attack 5,000 to uh, your opponent's life points, attack 5,000 to your opponent's life points. So, you know what, that's like two attacks this game right there. I know what to hear you guys can do. If you guys open up limited removal and spindles and uh, have two other monsters on the board, you literally win the game. Limited, re and re limited removal and spindles is just GG. It's, it's, it's insane. Spindles is just so good, guys. I love this card. I, like, I, I can't... Like, I can't say it enough, you know what I mean? This card is just so good. Um, I actually might even want to take this deck to my locals and just uh, do like like a tournament report for you guys and how I did uh, at my locals with this deck. Uh, so that's pretty much it for spells. Remember guys, this is a limiter removal. You must play this card. This card is like an OTK aspect of the deck, which is very, very nice as well. So yeah, pretty much it for our spells. Let's go up through our traps. Traps, we do play quite a heavy bit of tra back row. You want to play Triple Dynamis Rush. This is the pure version. You want to see your Dynamis Monster as much as possible. And especially this card commonly off with, um, what is it called? The Spinos is absolutely amazing. So basically, you have Spinos, summon a monster, go Dynamis Rush, activate Spinos' effect, tribute out those two monsters, and basically attack for the game from there. Uh, so Dynamis Rush is just very, very amazing. Uh, tutors out your Dynamis uh, monsters as much as possible. And it also helps you go into your rank 4 and rank 5 plays XYZs if you uh, really need uh, to go into those uh, XYZ plays. Double strike and one solemn warning. These cards are absolutely phenomenal. Very very good. Uh, so yep, the the solemn brigade. Uh, in my personal opinion, this card, these cards are amazing, uh, especially uh, in this deck. Especially you know what? If you have you know your dynamis monsters on the board and protecting those dynamis monsters from bigger monsters is very very crucial. So solemn warning, solemn strike just basically takes care of that uh, that problem. Next one to play, guys. I'm playing right now. This has to be my favorite mirror force. You want to play double quake in mirror force? I I in my personal opinion, guys. Uh, I feel like Quaking Mirror Force is one of the best Mirror Forces the game has ever made so far. Think about it. Okay, so basically, uh, you, when, when the attack was in your monster attacks, you basically flip all those cards face down and your opponent cannot change those face down cards. Can you imagine this in Burning Abyss? If you face down all their Beatrices, your, their Graph, their Seer, whatever, they basically can't flip those back up anymore. They can't even go into the rank 3 XYZs and they cannot, they cannot even start summoning a Burning Abyss monster from their hand because if they do, that monster would just automatically be destroyed. So, Quaking Mirror Force is absolutely amazing for that purpose. I love Quaking. This card is just absolutely busted. And especially in this deck, um, 
like a cool thing that you guys can do is that if your opponent tries to commit on the board, you just uh, quickly mirror force them, uh, flip all those monsters face down, and then next turn just pendle them out, pe uh, pendle them out, summon everything, and just keep activating spinos as a fact, and basically keep attacking for game. So you don't have to uh, even having to worry about uh, those monsters that your opponent has. So quick, quick mirror force is very very good, and I felt like this deck sometimes uh, lack on uh, back row uh, protection, like monster protection. Sometimes if you don't have a dynamis charge, you want to protect your scales as much as possible. So if your dynamis monster dies, you you don't want to end up popping your scale unless you have a dynamis charge. So Quick and Mirror Forces helps protect that problem, helps protect you from, uh, you know, big monsters and things like that. So Quick and Mirror Forces is very, very amazing. In my personal opinion, this card is one of the best Mirror Forces uh, ever made so far. The card is so good. Uh, you want to play Double Horn of Heaven uh, because Horn of Heaven has so much synergy with this deck. Because Horn of Heaven with uh, Dynamis Charge is very, very good. So if you Horn of Heaven, you tribute one of your monsters. Uh, you basically get, uh, if, you're if you have Dynamis Charge on the board, you basically get to add that monster to your hand. So this card is basically a, a free solemn warning while you have a Dynamis Charge on the board, which is very, very nice. So you want to play Double Horn of Heaven. And last but not least, you want to play one Bombus Trap Hole and one Vanny's Emptiness to round off our traps. Well, and Emptiness is really, really good in, in this deck because, uh, you know what? Uh, if your Dynamis monster dies, it basically goes to the extra deck. So if you already have an established board uh, and you flip Vanny's Emptiness, you basically win the game. So this is pretty much it for our traps. Now let's go off into our side deck real quick. Uh, side deck is all up to personal preference, but this is what I have so far for the side deck. I always like to showcase you guys side deck because, you know, to give you guys an idea on what you guys can play in the deck. Uh, one Twin Twister, I do play Double Flying C. Uh, very good against the BA matchup. Double Sisters down for uh, what is it called? For the causal matchup. Next, we're gonna play Triple Master Restrict for the Monarchs. And sometimes I thought about it that Master Restrict can sometimes conflict with your Rex and Spinos, but it doesn't matter. This will rather kill Monarchs than rather than it will kill yourself. So, Master Restrict is really good. And you can also play around this. You can basically activate Spinos effects first, then you can activate the Master Restrict. So, this card is really, really good. Uh, you wanna play Double Effect Wheeler or Triple Effect Wheeler for Monarchs. I hate Monarchs. Uh, the, third, the third Max C, the Double Cyber Dragon, and last but not least, one Chimera Tech to run off our side deck. Uh, yeah. So run off for this uh, this deck side deck. Let's go off into uh, let's see what is it called. Let's go off into our extra deck real quick. Play is double Cyber Dragon Infinity. This card is absolutely phenomenal. You want to play Cyber Dragon Infinity, uh, double Cyber Dragon Infinity, and double Cyber Dragon Nova. I feel like these cards uh, you go in, into uh, a lot. But you know what? The second one is always just for just in case. Uh, so double Infinity and double Cyber Dragon uh, Nova is definitely a must-up in this deck, in my personal opinion. Uh, but it's all up to, guys, to you guys if you guys want to play Infinity, uh, double Infinity, or double Cyber Dragon Nova. But for those of you who only have one Infinity, one Nova, you guys can, can, can take, take out these two cards and just play uh, any other. Uh, two cards that you would like to prefer, but uh, you know what? I prefer having a uh, second Nova and a uh, second infinity just in case uh, So yeah, and uh, again guys shout out to my boy maestro for sending me this infinity. I really appreciate your uh, your help brother Thank you so much maestro. Uh, I really appreciate it, man uh, So yeah, so double infinity cards really good really really great one artifact Durandal, uh, one Wokosaurus, one Zen Mayo and one Gaia Charger because these are all level 5, so you can basically go into them uh, with Gaia Charger, which is very, very nice. Uh, next one, I'll play one Ragnar Zero. This card is really good because it combos off really, really well with Plesios because all your opponent's monsters will basically uh, lose attack, and you know what? And uh, Ragnar Zero can combo off really, really well to draw you extra cards. One Crystal, one Abyss uh, Bewoner. Card is really, really good. Abyss Dweller, really amazing. Uh, one number uh, S39 Utopia Lightning, one Utopia. Last but not least, when you play one Norden and one Panzer Dragon to run off our extra deck. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Extra deck is always up to personal preference as well. Uh, if I'm missing something, please let me know. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this deck profile. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, do you guys like this deck profile? And and guys, please guys, it will be like it will mean so much to me. All, all you guys gotta do is just help me out and subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. That would be that would be mean really a lot to me, guys. And you know what? I tried my best to get you guys the best content out there. So I really hope you guys just appreciate that. And you know what? Just enjoy more deck profiles. And I really appreciate your uh, feedbacks and your comments as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And this is Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. Test out this deck, guys. And trust me, my deck in action, Dynamis, is going to be coming up very, very soon. And this is Sam from Team Sam Sam signing out. Peace out, guys.